Good morning, internet people. Izap says hello and welcome back to another episode of the Zappy Realm. And as you might know, the Zappy Realm will be coming to a close in June. So that's like five months from now. So relatively, we don't have a lot of time. Actually, well, relatively, it depends on who you're talking to. For example, Flama Dalama, our newest member, has over half of his time still left here. But I, who have been here for like, well, like almost, almost four years now, that's relatively not a lot of time, especially when I have such a big base that I need to finish. So there have been some things that I have been wanting to show you, but I have been neglecting to press that record button, but I'm doing it now. And um, I have been neglecting because I've had finals, semester finals, and that's quite annoying. They were easier than I thought they would be, but I haven't gotten the grade back, so fingers crossed. So here is the wall. So if you remember, it was a flat stone brick design before, and now it is, well, now it actually like looks good. On the outside, it has this design with a little cross here, whatever you want to call it, and then this thing on the top. I don't really know what to call it. I also added some cherry trees here. I did some interior for the village houses. They're all sleeping now, but I put a bunch of villagers in here as it was always supposed to be. There's Numino, Ultramicroscopic, Silico, Volcano, Coniosis. Let's see, who else can we meet? That guy doesn't have a name. This guy's Alex. Who else? That's Carter, I think. Yeah, that's Carter. So there's a bunch of villagers in here. They all have names. Most of them have names. And yeah, that's it for this area. Oh, right. And I have been doing some more custom tree building around here. I basically just got rid of all of the default oak trees, kept the stumps, and then put my custom trees where the default trees were. So that is impeccably amazing. Oh, I crashed into a building. That's fun. Um, so, in terms of this base, let's go over what we have left. We have that little area. We just got to finish out those trees, possibly do a couple more interiors, do the houses. Obviously, I've been dreading this, doing the thunderstorm. I really don't know what I'm doing up there, if I'm going to be quite honest. Um, that area that Bub built, I really don't know what to do with. This whole area that goes around here with the McDonald's, I really don't know what to do with. This area right here, I think it's kind of done. Maybe I'll put a more finishing touches in it, but just this wilderness area, I might expand it a little more over here. That might be what I do with this area just to fill it out and make it, maybe make like a smooth transition from the wilderness into the village. But yeah, I really need to figure out what I'm gonna do with this quartz building. Am I gonna keep it? Am I gonna get rid of it? I'm gonna turn it into something new, what I'm gonna do, and then of course, the zoo is done. This area, the zoo is done. And it has been done for quite a while. So yeah, that's where we are right now in terms of base building. Also, I have been helping Axith over at his base. All right, so here we are at Axith's lovely base. And I have forgotten how to fly with Elytra. How nice. So before, instead of these like custom houses, there was just like a bunch of villages that we spawned in here with the slash summon command. But now there are actual houses in here that look good. So that's great. And I have been helping Axith build these up and that's super cool. And I've been helping him kind of terraform this whole area. And it looks like Axith has got some stuff that he needs to do like his wall and um, he says it's something that he's been dreading. So we all have things that we're dreading to build, but they're all gonna be done, hopefully, in the next few months. So in terms of the Mushroom Syndicate versus the IZAP Union plotline, let's go to our Syndicate base here. I don't have my Union skin on right now, which I probably should have done. Actually, you know what, I'll, I'll get that on right now. Ah, uh, there we go. I am back in the Union skin. I should probably take off this just so you can see it better. Here we are in the Union skin. Let's head into the Union base. 
Okay, so the reason why I don't have the posters up right now and I have these paintings is because the texture pack wasn't working, so I'm gonna have to figure that out. So, union stuff. Um, if I'm gonna be honest, the Mushroom Syndicate really hasn't been doing anything for a while. Also, Alv left the realm a bit early. Uh, she's decided to leave and she's not gonna be rejoining for season two. So, yeah, just take her off that. And I guess, you know what, just to make it symmetrical, you can put Flama up there. And let's see, has Squinton built the LAG lag bar? Hey, he's done something down here. He has built the lag HQ. Let's see, is this it? Whoa. Whoa. All right, I thought that was going to be like a piston door of some sort, but clearly not. What is this? odd place. There are some floating arrows, a sure sign of Scooby-Tin. Let us go Sherlock Holmes and figure out where is this place. Let's see. Alright, so there's a swamp over here. I have not seen the swamp, so it's probably very far out. What is this? I have no idea what this place is. So, I think because the Mushroom Syndicate is lying low for a little bit, I think we can use this as an advantage to strike. I think we can use this as a place. Let's get back up. We're gonna be using this as an opportunity to take them down. How are we gonna do that? If I'm gonna be completely honest, I have no idea. The way you would take this sort of thing down is just like with the law, you would arrest them, you would put them in jail, but that's not... There's only like 20 people on the server, so... And we don't even have a jail, so how is this gonna work? How are we gonna take the Shroom Syndicate down? I suppose you could do it in a fight, but like none of them are online right now? So that wouldn't really work. Especially if they're lying low. That's not really how a fight would go down, so let's just go to Kasami's base and see if we can get any ideas. Alright, so progress is being made, kind of, maybe. I put caution tape around Kasami's base. That does something, right? And I put this cool statue here. You guys want to see that? That's me crushing a mushroom. Look at how cool and majestic I am. Look how cool, look how cool this room is. I am such a good builder. Welcome everyone to the finest eating establishment ever established for eating. McDonald's. All right, there was a McDonald's here before. You might remember it. And it was like a modern McDonald's, but that doesn't really fit the theme of this base. So if we go over here, we can see the theme that I'm kind of going for and you know, Kind of got it. Oh, I didn't finish the trees over here, did I? Oh, I still need to do that. I thought I finished them. But it's kind of like a magic-y medieval mix. Also with this house right here. I don't know what that house is. Axith built it, not me. And that. Bub built that, not me. But we have turned modern McDonald's into medieval McDonald's. And yes, I'm not done with it. Just be quiet. I'll finish it. So, we have two McDonald's and... What are you guys doing? Get back to work. Get back to work. It's a cool medieval-y build. And we've got the famous golden arches, which as a kid I always thought that those were french fries in the shape of an M. Now no one has ever told me that they're not french fries. So it could, it could be a thing. That's just a theory, a food theory. All right, so then we got the menu with so many items on it, like that thing, bird, I think that's a bird. It looks like a bird. And then skeleton in a bag. Yeah, delicious. And you know, you got your chairs, some tables that you can sit at. This is like, you know, the long table they have with just like the chairs. And then, yeah, it's very descriptive, Izap. Congratulations, you're good at talking. Then we've got a guy, he's eating some fries. I don't know, I think that's fire, but no, those are fries now. We come up here, this is where most of the tables are gonna be, but I haven't built them yet. Then if you come here, this is not the drive-through, this is the ride-through. Let me show you, let's see, can I find a horse? 
So this is supposed to be, aha, here it is, polka dot horse. Let's see, so this is supposed to be, oh, sorry, polka dot horse. So this is supposed to be a medieval McDonald's. So of course, they don't have cars in medieval times. Cars were actually invented in um, a few years before Jesus was born, you know? But anyway, so it's a ride through. You have to ride your horse. You have to ride polka dot horse through here. We're gonna get a path. So you can get the McSteak, the McBacon, the McMutton, the McChicken, the McPotato, the McBread, the McPie, and the McCookie. And of course, in all medieval, like all medieval restaurants do, they have a, they have a speaker here. And then there's the ride through station. You can see the workers inside there with their grill right there. That's how medieval McDonald's is looking so far. Now, over here, the museum. Of course, the first museum exhibit is right here, which is the first house ever built on the realm, which it's this house, which is my old house. You had a good look at it. I built a bathroom, a toilet. This was back when this was a survival server. So there's a lot of, you know, more survival-y things in here. Then down here, this is the museum. So it's more, it's kind of like a, a root system. Got some more things in here. So this is like the main part of the museum. Let's go over here so we can see these bone blocks here. Random bones one day appear to Axit Ski Resort. No one knows who put them there or why they put them there. Super snow boots. Places snow wherever you walk while wearing. And ski boots allows you to ski. There you go, there you have it. Then we have the rule, the old rule book and the old lore. Those are pretty long, so I won't be reading them out. And then here is authentic infinity armor made by Squinton, except we don't have the boots yet. I'm gonna have to acquire some of those. And then here is one of my old shields, an old shield design from when I used to be called Zappy Boy. And this was last used over two years ago, I believe. So then if you come in here, this is the old McDonald's sign. Uh, these are structures that Axith built in here. I got some help from him. And then we're gonna have one exhibit from for every Zappian, whether they be still a Zappian or left, former. May they be active or not active. I'm looking at you, bub. Um, every, every member that had some impact on the realm, obviously some of them didn't because some, some people, there was a few people that were only on the server for like 30 minutes. So everyone who actually had an impact is going to have a little space down there. Look at this lovely world that we've created together. So I think that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. This has been iZap. And exit stage right.